And this is what's actually going to allow us to programmatically update our records. Scroll down to dynamic DNS and be sure to turn this on. So now we have the local IP. Get the IP for each applicable domain. You can't actually just use a normal dig. We need to make sure that we are bypassing the cache and getting the actual live data. We we're going to have the authoritative name server saved in that variable for host in hosts, right? In this case, it's going to be at the authoritative name server. So it's resolved IP for the respective subdomain equal to the local IP. Records are up to date. Um, so that's all we need to do for the actual API call is the error count equal to zero dot slash to run. Let's go ahead and refresh here comes through as the correct IP, right? And open up cron tab. I'm just gonna do five minutes, redirect those to some log file called this ddns.log. So that's gonna be it for this video. Any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. Apart from that, thanks for watching.